This screencast covers the word problems from Module 4, Lesson 4, where we relate fractions and division through uh, tape models. We also include a couple of the homework problems. I'm not going to work them out for you, but I'm going to, be going to give you some guidance in solving them. We'll start with problem 3 from the practice set. Let's read the first word problem. Greg spent $4 on 5 packs of sport cards. How much did Greg spend on each pack? We'll start by creating a tape diagram. And the whole is the amount of money, that's $4. And the cost of $4 is split among 5 packs of sport cards. So if we write 1, 2, 3, 4 vertical lines to represent uh, or to partition this into five equal parts. And the price of one pack is represented right there. So we have five units equals four dollars. We want to find one unit and that equals four dollars divided by 5. And that, of course, is 4 fifths. So what do we have? 4 fifths of $1. 4 fifths of $1. Well, a fifth of a dollar is 20 cents, so 4 fifths would be 80 cents. Let's go on to Part B. If Greg spent half as much money and bought twice as many packs of cards, how much did he spend on each pack? Explain your thinking. Okay, I'll start a tape diagram here once again. You know, that's one way to explain your thinking. Half the money, half as much money, well, one half of four is two. So he'd be spending two dollars. He's going to get twice as many packs. So the first time he got five packs. This time he's going to get ten. We'll make nine vertical lines, partitioning it into ten equal parts. And bracket one of those parts. So we have ten units equals two dollars. So one unit equals two dollars divided by ten and that equals two-fifths or two-tenths rather and that can be simplified to one-fifth so one-fifth of one dollar is twenty cents and again we need to make this statement there he spent twenty cents on each pack Okay, number four from the problem set. Five pounds of bird seed is used to fill four identical bird feeders. What fraction of the bird seed will be needed to fill each feeder? Well, since we have four identical feeders, one-fourth of the bird seed will be needed to feed each feeder. So that's pretty simple. And I'll, I'll, I'll write a quick statement. And we get the right tool here. There are four identical feeders. So one fourth of the seed, that's the total amount of seed, is needed to fill each feeder. That was pretty simple. Let's go to B. How many pounds of bird feed are used to fill each feeder? Okay, so we're going to, the whole is five, because that's five pounds. And we're going to use that to fill four feeders, so I need to make three 
vertical lines to partition this into four equal parts. We find, want to find the amount for one feeder. So again, we have four units equals five pounds. One unit equals five pounds divided by four. And that equals five-fourths. We can change that to a mixed number, and we get one and one-fourth. So then we'd have to make the statement, one and one-fourth pounds of bird seed is used to fill each feeder. How many ounces will be used, a bird seed are used to fill the three feeders? Well, this is a little different because we need to make note of the fact that we're talking about three feeders. So, how uh, three feeders, each feeder gets one and one-fourth pounds. So, we can do this a number of ways. We have to remember that one pound equals 16 ounces. Get used to knowing these, you're not going to have the answer on your, uh, or the conversion factor on your reference sheet anymore. So, one and one-fourth pounds. Okay, so I'm going to say one and one-fourth pounds equals one and one-fourth times one pound. Oops, got that reversed. One pound. We're going to go through that progression we did in the previous modules. So that's one and one-fourth times, well, one pound is the same as 16 ounces. So what do we get? Well, I can do this a number of ways. I'm going to just do a little moving here if I can. There we go. Make a little more space. So, that's the same as 5 fourths times 16, which is the same as, well, 5 times 16 is 80 over 4. 80 divided by 4 is 20, so that's 20 ounces. But that's 20 ounces, okay? One unit, one feeder, equals 20 ounces. We need three. So that's 20 ounces times three, which equals 60 ounces. So again, we need to make the statement, 60 ounces of bird seed are used to fill three bird feeders. We're going to go on to a couple homework problems. Again, I'm not going to solve them, but they add, uh, both of them add a little bit of a twist that uh, warrants maybe a little discussion. Bob Bob Block Sheep had seven pounds of wool. If he separated the wool equally into three bags, how much would be in two bags? Okay, so that's the twist here, two bags. So, what's the hole? Well, I'm going to start with the tape diagram, but I'm not solving it. We have seven pounds of wool. We're going to divide it into three equal bags. But we want to find not one, we want to find two. So I'm going to set up a progression to help you with the thinking. So, I know that three bags, or three units, equals seven. We need to find one bag or one unit. And then we're going to have to find two bags. So we need a number of steps here. It's very simple. If three bags is seven pounds, it's easy enough to find one bag. Once you find one bag, we need to double that to find two bags. And of course we'll write our statement. Not very not real complicated, but this idea of going from three to one to two uh, is not like what we saw in the problem set. Finally, we have this one, an adult sweater, oh, wrong tool, it is made from two pounds of wool. This is three times as much wool as it takes to make a baby sweater. How much wool does it take to make a baby sweater? Use a tape diagram. Well, we start with the adult. Now, when we see this three times as much, you might be fooled into thinking that they're looking for three times this amount. 
That's not the case. This quantity, three pounds, is three times as much as it would take to make a baby sweater. So which one takes less wool? Indeed, it's the baby sweater, not the adult sweater. So read this carefully. Uh, make sure that you pay attention to details like this because they try to mix things up in these module word problems so that you're well prepared for whatever might be dealt you on a state test. And of course use a tape di diagram to solve.